40 years, Liesl Wirtz has been giving visitors tips on what to see in Wolfsburg. Whether it's about the Autostadt theme park, the museums or the castle, Liesl has the answer to every question. She works for the Tourism Information Centre in the main train station. Hello, my name is Liesl Wirtz. I'm a visitor's guide in Wolfsburg. What I like about Wolfsburg is that you can reach everything by foot. Let me show you three of my favorite places. First, we head to the City Hall, built in 1958. Its roof offers a panoramic view over the city. We're on the roof of the Wolfsburg Town Hall with a beautiful view of the city. We can see Volkswagen's paint factory and administration building and the power plant and the Autostadt. Right in front of us is the older part of town and the central district built from 1938 to 1942. Then there's the theater built by Hans Scharoun, our Congress Park, our planetarium and the art museum. Ever since the population passed the 100,000 mark, planners have classified Wolfsburg as a large city. But even in the center of town, it still has a relaxed atmosphere with its unusually broad boulevard. We're now in the center of town, on Porsche Straße, our main business street. Until 1980, this was a four-lane motorway, used by 80 to 90,000 cars a day. You could park diagonally in front of the shops. After World War II, the town, which had been founded by the Nazis to house Volkswagen workers, wanted to start anew. So it was renamed Wolfsburg, after the imposing castle complex on the edge of town. Built by the aristocratic Bartensleben family, whose coat of arms included a wolf, the original moated fortress had been turned into a splendid Renaissance palace. My second recommendation is Wolfsburg Castle. This is its inner courtyard. It was first mentioned in 1302 and it gave our city its name. The Municipal Gallery, the Art Association and the City Museum are here. The City Museum is a must for anyone who wants to find out more about the history of the old castle and the young city. On the way to her third recommendation, Liesel takes us through the model housing development called Steinke Berg. No house quite resembles another, except for the black shutters on the windows. The settlement has been on a protected list since 1980. This is, this is the Steinke Berg quarter. It was built especially for executives. They all had bathrooms, which was pure luxury back in 1938, and district heating, which was great, and every unit had a garden. The best place in Wolfsburg to relax outdoors is Alle Park. This rambling recreational area is built around an artificial lake, and that's Liesel's third recommendation. My third recommendation is Allersee Lake. It's a wonderful leisure area for swimming, surfing and sailing. When you're here, you feel like you're in paradise.